Hi everyone, I'm Krista and welcome to my video on which crystals and gemstones make really good aphrodisiacs. So I'm going to show you some of my top picks and uh, since it's coming close to Valentine's Day I thought that this would be a nice video for you. So the first stone that I will show you is a piece of aragonite. So here we have it. It's kind of um, an orangish, reddish, almost kind of brown like stone. And this is actually a really good aphrodisiac for men. So what it helps to do is increase uh, sensuality, sexual stamina, and libido for men. So this is a really good stone, men, if you uh, carry it with you and uh, let that stone harmonize with your energies to really start to increase that powerful energy. So you want to work with it for a few days um, and really get to know that energy before maybe going on a date or spending time with your loved one and uh, before lovemaking. So make sure that you work with that stone for a few days prior and that way it will work the best for you. And for women, I'm going to show you now a really beautiful soft pink piece of tourmaline here. This is actually a piece of rough tourmaline. Okay, I quite like it. It's a pinky, almost sort of lavender type color. And how the pink tourmaline can work for you ladies is if you carry this with you in your pocket or also put it under your pillow and sleep with it, then it starts to harmonize with your energy fields and it helps to promote passion, sensuality, and beauty. So it will help you to really uh, bring out those sensual energies and those playful energies uh, during sexual activity, but it will also help you to feel beautiful in your body. And when you're deeply connecting to your body in that way and feeling beautiful, then that in itself can be an aphrodisiac for your lover. And the nice thing about working with this stone as well is that it's uh, kind of like a goddess stone, so it really helps you to embrace your inner goddess within and really bringing that out in sensual ways. So very beautiful stone for that. Now the next ones that I'll show you work both for men and women. The next one is a piece of carnelian. So here I have orange carnelian and you can also use a piece of red carnelian. So it kind of ranges between shades of orange and shades of red. And carnelian is really good to bring out passion and sensuality and creativity during lovemaking. So if that has become a little bit boring or mundane or lovemaking feels kind of routine, then you can spice it up with carnelian. Now how you would work with carnelian is you would place, uh, you'd get four pieces of carnelian and place one stone in each of the four corners of the bed. So you can tuck it around the corners or place it just slightly underneath the bed and uh, then you can create a really nice atmosphere, light candles, whatever you want to do to make the bedroom kind of sacred. And then during um, sexual activity and lovemaking, it will really help to bring out that creative play and sensuality for both partners. Um, really beautiful that way. And the last one I want to show you is a piece of red jasper. Okay, so there we have it. Lots of uh, beautiful veins of red in here with also some white. And this is a really good stone that heals impotence, frigidity. If you feel disconnected from your body or if you feel awkward in your body and maybe mm, sexual activity or sensuality feels, you know, uh, kind of foreign to you or awkward to you, working with this stone will help to connect you to your body, will also help to heal any kind of frigidity or impotence and really start to bring out that sensuality, sexuality, life force energy and animal magnetism. And the beauty about this particular stone as well, because it works so much with the physical body, it really helps you to use your physical body in some wonderful sensual ways to really increase um, pleasure. So helping you to really engage in pleasurable activity and to feel that pleasure deeply in your body. So you can carry that stone with you again um, for a few days to really start to harmonize with it. I would say that this particular stone is nice to work with over a longer period of time, especially if you're trying to heal those aspects within yourself. Um, you can also sleep with it under your pillow so that it can also work on you while you sleep and imbue you with healing energies that way. That is a nice way to work with it. Um, so I really encourage you to try that stone if you are suffering from those aspects. So those are my top picks. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. 
I'm Crystal Lynn, Crystal Healing Therapist as well as teacher of Crystal Healing classes. If you would like more information on Crystal Healing, then please like my Facebook page or you can visit my website at crystallynn.ca. Thank you so much for watching, blessings to you, and namaste.